The hill is going a hundred years back. The old people put soul here is dead and gone. And there was always a market here. Every town in Ireland, small or big, is a market. After there's only calves and little suckers in the box. Well, there was women and men here trying to earn a bit of grub money for their children. And that's the way it is. We have a lot of poor in Ireland, you know. I thrust myself back here years. I wasn't as heavy. I was going to a wedding. I couldn't get into the port to get into Guinea's or those shops. And I dressed myself here with a lovely suit for a five pound out. I couldn't afford any more. I'd be late for the wedding. <laughs> Will you wait? It was four years ago, August, the 1st of August, 78, when the corporation brought out the plan that would demolish Summer Hill, Sean McDermott Street, Gardner Street. So it's almost four years to the date that they're actually doing it. And in that four years, I suppose, the, the book that we brought out, we call the Three Communities One Struggle. And that's why we, we call the book the Notice to Quit. The defeat was that the community that was here was destroyed and has been dispersed and is gone and it'll be very, very difficult to build that community again where at least there will be houses here built, built here again. Something the corporation and the state didn't want. They wanted this for the, the value of the land and they wanted it for commercial development and speculation. But the victory that did result from the struggle of the people who lived here is that houses will be built and kids will play on these streets again. And there will be a, a living city in this area someday. Or if there's not, then it was all a waste of time. When the state failed to carry through its plan to banish communities out of the centre, they then moved against some of their most tra traditional ways of making a living. And the most traditional way has been street trading. Then in the 90s, more legislation was brought in, targeted on places like Moore Street. Now, Moore Street is a, is a street of uh, licensed stall holders who have rights and have a legal standing to be there. It's probably the most famous street in Ireland. It features on all the tourist brochures welcoming tourists to the city. Yet behind that facade, the state was actually moving to destroy them. I suppose the first big step was the, the ILAC Centre, which effectively destroyed the real core of street trading life in the north inner city. Within the next couple of years, all of that area will have been redeveloped into massive fancy stores and apartments and even a hotel. Moore Street and the women who are there and the street traders around it, to me they've always been the very heart of Dublin. And big business seems intent on, on killing that heart. So I think the biggest single threat to the traditional street market of Moore Street is now well underway. My grandmother's hands come back to soothe me. They smell of rain. 
they smell of the city. They untangle my hair and smooth my brow. There's more truth to those hands than to all the poems in the holy books. Her gesture is home. The lines on her palms are maps. She makes the whole world up. She disappears it. It sings for her. Its song is water. The sky is its colour. She unpicks all riddles and solves the small mysteries. She keeps the wolves from the door. She opens wide the door. Summer comes spilling in with a roar.